In problem number 31 of section 2.4, we prove that if g is a function that's twice differentiable, whose graph is concave up everywhere, then the composition e to the g of x is also uh, twice differentiable and concave, and the, uh, its graph is concave up everywhere. So remember that to test for concavity, we need to find the second derivative. Uh, we find the second derivative and then look at the sign uh, look at its sign, is it positive or it's negative? If it's positive, then it's concave up, and if it's negative, then it's concave down. So we start out by finding the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x is equal to, when we apply the chain rule, so we have e, of, or e to the g of x times the derivative of the inside which is g prime of x. So next step is to find the second derivative. And we're going to need to apply the product rule here. So let's take the first um, the derivative of the first part of the product. So derivative of e to the g, g of x, will be e to the g of x, apply the chain rule, so g prime of x. Uh, and then multiply it by the second part of the product, just leaving it alone, so g prime of x. And then we add uh, the first part of the product, just leave it alone, and multiply it by the derivative of the second part, so the derivative of g prime of x is g double prime of x, which this whole thing is equal to e to the g of x times, uh, so we factor e to the g of x out, and that was a g prime of x squared plus g double prime of x. Now, the first part here, e to the g of x, uh, e raised to any power is uh, always going to be positive. So we know that this is greater than zero. Um, and same with uh, anything raised to the second power. You square anything, any number, it's either going to be zero if the number is zero to begin with, or it, if it's strictly positive, strictly negative, your output's going to be strictly positive. So this is going to be greater than or equal to zero. And remember that our assumption was that the graph of g of x is concave up everywhere, which means that its second derivative is greater than zero at all points. So g double prime of x is greater than zero. See that all these terms are greater than zero. Therefore, uh, f double prime of x is greater than zero, which implies that the graph of f 